Hey everybody, it's me. We don't need to get Finster, we have Finster at home here, coming at you with another experience. Don't ask me how many texts this- oh my god, I haven't even checked if the audio is good. I really felt like playing some EU4 again, and what better way to play some EU4 than to play my favorite nation. What's the last thing I did? I think Congo? I conquered half of Africa, yeah, and then I just stopped. I think Oyo, Tlemcen, and Jean and Songhai are all of my vassals, I believe. And then I just couldn't be bothered to fight France, Castile, Aragon and the Ottos again. Okay, I think I broke the game. I should not have I should not have loaded this. First crash of the day. Okay, yeah. You can sit over there. That's fine. This is something to get my viewer attention up, showing a little bit of puss since you're not allowed to show pussy. Should we? Yeah, might as well throw on throw it on Iron Man. Okay, but I need to move my keyboard over here, else I will get swiped at. Not naming any names. What's causing the swiping? Oh god, yes, I am recording. It's always nice when you remember that you are indeed recording. Okay, uh, EU4. I have not played EU4 in such a long time. What is this game even about? Strongest Austria. You get the... Ixing. You can get Ixing for half. Oh, that's actually better. Step cost modifier. Ottomans. Lit. Yeah, let's get that marked. Diet, do you want? Girls, uh, uh. But I'm not gonna have a lot of paper. Ah, uh, whatever. Here's my estates for anyone caring. Oh, I see something green, something that I really like to see. This start is busted, what? <laughs> okay, but I need to worry about the empire as well. Too holy for this nonsense! <laughs> yes! Too holy for this nonsense. I love it. Oh, right. I also have my fleet. I forgot about my fleet. Bye. Yeah, I fucked up. Whatever. Fleet doesn't really matter. We're Austria. Embargo you. You. Embargo. And insult. There we go. We do have a CV now. Curry favors. Rival Bohemia. Let's just declare war on them like this. I will also get a mercenary company. I also went ahead and gave my leader military command. If you were to fall off horse right now, we'd stay emperor since we have an heir and would be voted again. And if the emperor stays with the same nation, the empire receives 10 imperial authority for free. Praha looted... Wait, what? That's new. Yeah, let's get the army professionalism. Give me Heb. Heb is very good. Heb is gold mine. Yes, gold. One funny thing you can do is take Hip and Praha, since Praha has a wonder that gives you imperial authority if you are the emperor. You have to convert it and it's a religious center, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to do so, but the sooner you can get that one, the sooner you can reform the HRE. There we go, that should be everything. I can get some more gold, but that's fine, I don't need that. This is all I care about. There we go, we have the union. Why do you all have a truce with Hungary? Support loyalists, yep. Here I cut out the entire war with Hungary because I forgot to take the mission and used an incorrect CV. <laughs> I think the last time something like that happened was probably when I was still new to EU4 and I fabricated claims and then declared war without a CV or I declared a war because of an insult instead of waiting a day and then using the fabricated claim CV. I really hated the insult CV for that. I always forgot to select the proper CV and then I couldn't take anything in the peace deals. Let's wait two days. Boom, boom, boom. There is also gold here. Let's take these two. Yeah, once I have patched, they will fall. Definitely. And Brandenburg. Yes, join me, please. A uh, few. Stack up, please. Okay, that's the third army. Yep, I'm fine with that. Union of Hungary, give me gold. And these two provinces. Royal Hungary, we can shoot our mercs. Uh, yeah, let's get Venice. Venice is big because if we can eliminate Venice, we will just have full control over the Gulf of Venice. It's not even been 10 years and <laughs> we've tripled in size. We have Bohemia as a PU, we have Hungary as a PU, and we can also invite our vassals, which I really like that we can do that. Oh, uh, sure, let's embrace it. Get the lower thing cost. And Poland will also be down. Hmm, yes please. Oh, I love forts in EU4, man. This, pillage the capital here, and... Yep. Oh, 
Yes, we can also get Milan. No, I cannot invite Hungary because they're too big. Seize land. Press this button and lower autonomy as often as you can. They are absolutely broken. Low autonomy is insanely good and why do you make your people upset? You can also just stomp over them and get the free army tradition this way. Yo, th that's the second time that the AI has sold the province this game. Did they change that as well? Did it increase the likelihood of that happening? Union with Milan. People would not be happy, so that's the reason why I will not take Trent. I would like to, but that's not gonna be feasible. Uh, wait, what? That's cringe of you. That's Arabia? Why? Okay, uh, let's peace out ASAP here. Oh, this could hurt. This will probably hurt. Oh, uh, let's just... Yeah, yeah, come on, reinforce. That's what I uh, expected. But I just look at our manpower. Shadow Kingdom, no. Wait, I can't offer ally land anymore. Or is it just for coalition wars? Yes, we won this battle. Oh god, I just realized something bad. We have too many birds. We go. Now we have three gold mines on level 10. Um, well, I mean, wool is also a very important resource. And I'm not coping right now. Not at all. Give me war reps and a little bit of ducats. Thank you. Ooh, right siphon income. I forgot about that. Abdicate. 10 Imperial Authority for free, that you should always get. If this guy dies now, we will lose Bohemia, we will lose Hungary, we will lose Milan, and we will lose the Emperorship. Straight up, the whole empire just falls apart. But we do get 10 Imperial Authority, that's very good. Let's rein in the Italians. Doing that is very easy. You just say goodbye to your political, political power? To your diplomatic power for a little while by allying every single Italian that you can. Mantua, Siena and Florence. I could send an insult to the Pope. Guarantee does help a little bit more. Then I can tell you to the steer trade which should help me. Imperial Grace. Then I need to spend a little bit of money. And we can reign in Italy. Get 25 Imperial Authority. And now I will take the Elector title from Bohemia. We can pass another reform. The emperors, emperors were actually stupid. They should have just done that. It was, it's so easy to deal with Italy. Just ally all of them and then you suddenly have full power. Oh, look who came crawling back. People would be down for the Pope joining the Empire, which I am happily gonna take. Make my empire stronger. Aragon still is up for grabs. Yeah, you know what? Let's, I'm just gonna toss my hat in there. But what I also like to do when I play in the HRE, and well, you might hate me for saying it, but espionage is actually busted in the HRP. A HRP? Oh, my head. Cost to fabricate claims. Not a huge deal, like it's nice because in, it's more expensive to do it in the HRE. Aggressive expansion impact is very big. The siege ability, dope. Diplomat, uh, it's okay. The yearly corruption is also pretty big. It's not insane, but it can be very useful. And anything to make sieges more bearable in EU4 is always a plus in my book. Uh, I'm gonna go influence. The Pope has joined the Empire. What's Imperial Ban? Let's see, release nations for zero things. Ooh. If they ever go to war with the with the England, the English, I think I'm gonna pounce on that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, 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 Spain a Habsburg throne. Once this guy dies, we can claim the throne of Spain. I have completely forgotten about this thing as well. One of the best buttons to press in EU4. Yes. I'll gladly take the plus three mill advisor in 1469. Nice. I just found out. What? 
rebels oh, in Milan. If we can get these two provinces, then we're connected. And it's also going to make it easier if we ever need to move. And since we just decreased our liberty desire, we can also extort a little... I mean, uh, ask for a little bit of money. We could take Trent and Augsburg. Paul and... Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I did not expect them to have that many Venetian troops. I'm an idiot. Gotta be quick here though. If they attack me in the mountains while I'm sieging, that's dead, 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 that's dead troops for me. No, don't blame the emperor. England has a disputed succession. Oh, I mean, hey, but they're allied. They're married to Portugal and Spain. And now, because of forts, we can't do anything. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love forts. I love you for Burgundy in succession. Oh, we formed a personal union with Burgundy. I will keep my union with Burgundy. I do want to declare war on them for the Imperial ban and just release a bunch of nations. Give me back Brescia. And then we can release Dalmatia. Would be kind of cool. Verona. Padua. And they're not part of the HRE. Submission to the Emperor. And last jousting tournament. That is perfect timing. I think I will need it. I guess the French declared war on me after all. Oh no, the Ottomans did. Once again. This time for Bielat. Oh god. What's my... Uh, 24. Ugh. And the morale is not looking good. Yes, Poland. Thank you. I'm not sure Poland is gonna be a bigger help here. Oh fuck, man. Let's try and navigate out of here. Yeah, it's like, no, I called in Poland and now everyone is jumping to Poland. <laughs> Can I get out of there? Nope. Might as well send my troops in there. Else they will be stuck there. All alone. It was a tactical retreat. Oh god. Oh god. Five speed is dangerous. I guess I'm kiting them right now. <laughs> I'm kiting the Ottomans. Oh god, they are. They are really out for blood now. I would like to get out of the Ottomans wild ride, please. Yeah, but look at them. They are slowly running out of soldiers. And France declared war on me. Wait, what? France... No, France joined on the side of the Ottomans. Uh, thing is, the longer I stay... That's just a world war. <laughs> I'm just... I just caused a world war in 1477. Why is England here? Did they intervene against the intervention of France? <laughs> Seriously, this is World War I. <laughs> the Ottomans declared on Balad, which called me in, and then I called my allies in, and then France joined against me, and then England joined against France. Yeah, I just need more army professionalism and, in general, everything. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I can cut these troops off. Ooh, army tradition! Yes, please. And England is here while the stuff in France is getting sieged out. It's technically not my problem. England is also out of this war. They would be down for a white piece, which I would also be down with. Since that means I can focus on fixing the HRE, but I also wouldn't mind taking something because the Ottomans are just gonna come knocking every single time the truth is up. But I will slowly get stronger. Uh, reform. Can now declare war on innocence. I will declare war on Switzerland. From you, I will take these two provinces. Might as well pillage them. Castile has a disputed succession, huh? Would be a shame if someone were to claim the throne. And they already have exploration, which is very important. Vessels will not take exploration and expansion ideas, but if they have it already, they will not lose it. I could kiss that horse. <laughs> yes. We'll piss off the burghers and the clergy, but I don't care. We formed the pee who <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be one of my strongest Austrias. The only thing that went bad this game is that Burgundy lost a bunch of provinces to France. And I guess the Ottomans, they have occupied my time decently as well. No, oh, I can pass another reform. The Gemeine Pfennig. Please, just let me white peace. I don't want anything from you, Venice. Poland will probably just siege out Sweden, honestly. Yeah. For the Empire. You will release Holstein. Actually, no, I will take Holstein. It's even better. Sweden is a junior partner under Muscovy. That is a timeline. Truly one of the timelines of all time. I'm going to expand Empire on you. This war has two goals. Make the Empire larger 
And we can also show the Pope that he should not ally with France. We can convince him. You are sieged out completely and you're not down with that because uh, you're not sieged out completely. Provence should have cause now. I might be able to uh, puppet Provence and then we can use Provence as well. Now we can get Imperial Ban and Reconquest and oh, we can fresh France. And they just lost the Pope as their ally. Reichshofrat always, always. You lose one step, but you get Diplo Rep and Idea Cost until the end of the game. The most important thing, two provinces, Vardin and Camprotron, Vardin. There we go. Integration is a slow process. I will convert you. We'll have a monthly progress of minus 7.2%. Well, I can state it at the very least. Da -da -da -da. We have completely sieged you out. I can release Burgundy again. <laughs> guarantee the Duke of Burgundy wishes to join the Empire <laughs> yes <laughs> I love this game man I love this game I will ban the entry which most of the Empire will do will agree with I can still use my CP CB to expand the Empire I'm double dipping here just look at this look at this beautiful Empire also I will try and integrate hungry this then unlocks another big chunk of our focus tree. Focus tree? What's up with Milan? They're not doing anything anymore. A friend just told me it's apparently the improved AI of this patch and it's fixed by just simply reloading. But I couldn't be asked this game. Chance of new air minus 100%. But she's a female, I can't become emperor. The Protestants have arrived. I will need to state all of Hungary to answer the Hungarian question. The question, is, what is the question I have Ferdinand von Habsburg as my current leader and my heir is Ferdinand von Habsburg but Ferdinand the first von Habsburg is my leader. I don't know why I'm backing Saxony of all people. Ewiger Landfriede is cool, but it's also very bad to get. It's pretty bad that you can't declare wars on people in the HRE for reforming heretics after you pass this reform. And once you pass the Vassal Swarm, if someone joins the HRE afterwards, you cannot touch them anymore. Thankfully, I can force religion on two people here. One of the religious centers is gone. Oh, Denmark. They will constantly influence northern Germany now and I can't force them to change their religion. Welcome to the Empire. Also give me all of your stuff. Why are you allied to France or oh, guaranteed by uh, guaranteed by England? I could have taken all of this very bubonel. Well, let's just do this, I guess. Okay, I I must have broken my vassals somehow. Yeah, they're just not doing- I already talked about this. I don't care. Just please don't be cringe. There we go. Can't declare war on Frankfurt, but we can declare war on a friend of Frankfurt. Did they call in England as well? Great Britain can't join, sadly. Sadly, you must be part of the empire. You were part of the empire, but now you are part of the empire again. Oh, fuck off. Why are you defending your capital? I'm not used to that. I'm just used to my 4 okay? Castile declared the war and they themselves have internal problems with their pretender rebels. And England is also falling to peasants. Why do I have allies like this? I have solved the Hungarian question. And we can also form Austria-Hungary. Just as I wanted to take a few provinces from France or Aragon, Spain pieces me out. Incident in the Empire. I'll take the one that gives me Imperial authority, but I would like to get it after. There we go. Attack on Venice. Call both of you in Genoa. Nope. And oh, would you look at that. The Commonwealth can't join. What a shame. The last bastion of stupid religions is down here. Let's take out the Swiss. For this, I need to annex the Swiss and then force religion on their capital. You know, I would really like to help you there. Please leave a message after the beep. What is this? Oh my... <laughs> that a... 
Honestly, it's cool that the AI started doing this, because that's the first time I've seen this happen to myself. Aragon, you have a Harpsburg. I could ally you, yes, that's true. Or I could not. It is slightly upsetting that this wasn't a world conquest and I just played this game for fun because oh my god, this Austria's busted. We will also start allying every single member of the HRE. Well, let's just pass it and see what happens. Well, the Commonwealth. What? I did lose 700 Diplo power from allying everyone. Then again, it doesn't really matter, I'm Austria. Now, we don't have rivals anymore. And the thing that I've been playing this past 6 hours for, being able to go AFK. <sighs> At this point, you are unbeatable. You might not have the strongest army, just the amount of troops that you have will overwhelm any AI. You have to go into Poland twice and then the PU, which is a bit of a shame. I think this France thing, that sounds like a good plan. POV, you said you're a girl online. Or in some cases, you also just spoke. Please don't be like that. Just at least try and be normal. I have no right to speak there. I'm also a hard simp. Shocking, I know. But just try and be normal. For the grand finale, we've had World War One. Let's have World War Two. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna make this a Drew the Null moment. This Austria is so fun. I mean, just look at this. We'll always take more losses than them, but doesn't really matter. Even if they kill 500,000 of us, there's another 50 million here. Seriously, if you've not played Austria in EU4 yet, now you know how to play it and I really recommend it. I'm not a huge EU4 fan, but this, honestly, oh, 